to a riveting production of Giuseppe Verdi's Un Ballo in Mascara, A Masked Ball. I am Diana Borgia Petro, General Director of Concert Opera Philadelphia. This season, we present the impressive tenor Moses Young Bei Yang as the benevolent governor, the lyrical soprano Galina Saknoskaya as Amelia, wife of Renato, and the powerful baritone Eric Dubin as Renato, advisor and friend of the governor. Mezzo-soprano Diane Fox and soprano Justine Aronson complete this exciting cast, which is accompanied by chorus, Ting Ting Wong at piano, with Copa Chamber Ensemble, semi-staged creatively by Leland Kimball III, and dramatically conducted by Maestro Yunak Beck. I now introduce you to Maestro Beck. Umbale Mascara is truly the masterpiece of Verdi. In terms of music, it contains so many beautiful arias more than 10, even excluding small ones in the ensembles. time favorite baritone aria, Alzati, is actually more popular than the opera. Moreover, there are so many great ensembles for example, the best love duet ever composed by Verdi until then appears in the second act and it reminds me of the love duet in the second act of Tristan und Isolde. <laughs> The plot is based on the real assassination of the Swedish king Gustav III in 18th century, but it is not total tragedy. The main character Ricardo, a really charming noble and has a sense of humor like Don Giovanni, especially in the scene that he laughingly brushes off his horrible destiny in the first act. The other protagonist, Renato, is a more three-dimensional character comparable to another monumental baritone role by the composer, Rigoletto. On the other hand, the page Oscar is like Tinkerbell in Peter Pan. Every character in the opera has strong personality and musicality that can hardly be missed. Umbalin Mascara is the best assorted chocolate box of all, all kinds of music, drama, and characters by Verdi. You will love the opera, even at the first listening. If you'd like to celebrate Verdi's 200th birth year, I strongly recommend Umbaloin Mascara. 